Hey guys, it's Lance of Max Sound Solutions, and today is a very exciting day. Actually, yesterday was the exciting day, but I finally broke down and bought a new Mac. Dun -dun -dun -dun. What is it you say? Well, I bought a Mac Pro 2019 7,1. I know. Oh, you should have gotten an M2. You know me, I love to tinker, and you cannot tinker with an M2. Sure, it might be lightning fast, but how much RAM can you put in that thing? If you do, it's going to cost you an arm and a leg. This has 96 gigs of RAM. It's a 16 core. It's brand new. Now, this is the interesting story about this, that these came from Facebook, from Meta, that they had a huge shipment of them. They were not the sellers, but the seller, iPower Resale on eBay, picked up probably about a hundred of these things and they're just blowing them out for a tiny bit over two grand. And a shout out to Johnny McPro, fellow YouTuber, who also picked up one of these Mac Pros and he was the one who found out that they came directly from Meta. The other clincher was it's brand new, unopened box. And I'm like, is this a scam? Normally that'd be going for way over $3,000. So I was a little skeptical, but I looked it up. iPower Resale, they're a huge seller on eBay. And if you bought it directly from them, I found out later, you would have saved a hundred bucks. So it turns out that these Mac Pros, once you unboxed it, got it open, has a little sticker on it uh, with a barcode saying, call this number if you find this computer or something like that. I have to put that on the screen. It's pretty funny. Apparently, they bought a huge amount of them and they never opened the box. It was exactly what I had ordered. I unpacked it. There was a big punch in the box, but these boxes are as heavy as the computer itself and they're really thick walled boxes. So they can sustain UPS and FedEx. The computer was in perfect condition and it unwrapped just like a brand new one because it was, but the odd thing is, is that sticker is on the computer itself. So I'm pretty excited. I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to take all my things from my five comma one and just install it into the Mac Pro 7 one. I'm gonna take my McFiver, which has Monterey on it, and I might update to Sonoma, but not right away. And I ordered the cables from OWC for my RX 6800 XT. I'll leave a link in the description. They're like half the price of the other company that sells them. I'm not thinking of it right now. Oh yeah, Belkin. And shout out to Greg Grant at the Definitive Mac Upgrade Guide. He showed me that you can buy the power cables for your GPU for about half the price as the other seller. So OWC has the best deal on those. So those are showing up tomorrow. And so is my highly overpriced Sonnet SATA Bay. I mean, that thing's $200. That just, it hurts to buy that. It should be in the Mac Pro already. There's videos on that. But, you know, I want to be able to stuff in as many of my old SATA drives as I can internally. So that's going to house like two spinning drives and an SSD, probably my Windows 11 drive. And the other thing I'm wondering is, will I be able to boot up in Windows 11 without having to do anything? Can I just pop the drive in there, hold down the option key and it'll appear? I'm not sure yet, but... Um, you know, that Windows 11 works in my Mac Pro 5 comma 1, so I'm pretty sure it's going to work in this one. So it's an exciting day because I finally pulled the plug and upgraded. But I like to tinker. You can't tinker with an M2. You can't add RAM. You can't add storage. You know, it's all got to be external. These have hit a brick wall too because you cannot upgrade the GPU past an RX 6900 XT. But you can upgrade it to Sonoma. Whether we'll be able to upgrade it to next fall's OS release, that remains to be seen. You know, maybe the guys at OpenCore will start plugging away at this one. I wouldn't see why they wouldn't do that. In fact, people already use OpenCore on the 7.1 to be able to install a 6950 XT. I don't see a point in that because honestly, they're a tiny bit faster. It's just an overclock 6900 XT, so you can probably do that in Windows anyway if you're really into gaming. So while the CPU is five years old, you know, I think this computer is going to last me for at least four years. And I have to buy a new laptop, so that's the next thing I'll be getting, and it's going to be an M laptop. I'm probably just getting a MacBook Air because all I use a laptop for is multi-tracking. 
that's it. I don't travel around with my laptop and do all kinds of stuff. I go to shows, I record them, I bring it home. And all I need is something that's reliable and lightweight, not have to lug around a big, although I'll probably get the 15 inch because I just don't like those small screens. I'm going blind in my old age. So anyway, that's the news. As far as my open cord following goes here on my channel and my 5.1, I'm not getting rid of it. I'm gonna put my RX 5700 into it and I'm gonna keep it going for a while. Will I sell it eventually? Maybe, but I have to transition all my stuff over, so that's gonna take a little while. And it's an old friend. I've had it for so long. What am I gonna get for it? Like 200 bucks, you know, with the video card, I'll get a little more than that. I don't think it's worth selling. And now I have a 6-1 also. So right now I got a 5-1, a 6-1, and a 7-1. But hey, life is short. You got to live a little. And uh, I've been working hard. You know, the price was right. 2000 bucks or 2099 is pretty reasonable. These things were, I don't know what the original was probably eight grand for the specs I've got. You know, maybe 10 grand. That's why I never bought one. It was insane. I'm like, they're out of my league. That's why it pays to wait. Get to the club late. You know, join that club five years later. Look at what you got. You know, I can buy an M2 studio in a year or two. It's going to be like a thousand bucks because those things just drop in value like crazy. And again, there's no upgrading. If you need a lot of RAM, you can put two terabytes of RAM in this thing or 1.5 terabytes. That's insane. So it just depends on workflow. I do audio, audio, audio. And I do my YouTube edits, but and I do some live music concert edits, but I am not a full-time video editor. I'm not working with raw footage. I'm not using 8K cameras, none of that. I am an audio guy. As you can see, this is where my work is done. So stay tuned. In my next video, which is going to be transferring all my gear from my 5.1 to the 7.1, I'm going to be giving away a free Steam Deck, brand new sponsored by DQ Upgrade. They have an eBay store and they have a website. They sell all kinds of stuff for the Mac Pro 5.1 and the Mac Pro 7.1. So stay tuned. The next video, we're gonna be picking one lucky subscriber. There will be some simple rules to follow and one subscriber will be the lucky winner of a free brand new Steam Deck. Please subscribe to my channel, give me the thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next Max Sound Solutions video.